if you have a finalized divorce case and you want to modify some term, it could be anything. It could be having a different uh, spouse support amount. It could be terminating spouse support. It could be uh, there was no spouse support and now you guys agree to spouse support. So anything that you guys agree to can be simply modified by uh, signing essentially a stipulation that will modify or change the terms of your agreement. We file a handful of those every month, people um, changing terms, um, updating things that you know they want to update because something's changed, maybe incomes have changed or they want to change a custody schedule or something like that. Most of the time, the first thing I'll ask you is, is this really something you need to have part of a court order? Or is it just something you guys can, you know, write on a piece of paper, an email, a handshake, whatever, just, you know, if you're amicable enough, you know, there's not many things you really need to modify unless it's going to be monetarily like child support, spouse support. You may want to update that. So there's accurate records there with the court, especially if it's going through child support services. Uh, but if it's just uh, uh, something that you um, agree on that, you know, hey, we had a very strict custody schedule and we're changing it from a Tuesday to a Wednesday. Well, I don't personally think that's something you need to change. Keep in mind, the purpose of having a settlement agreement or a judgment or a court order is that if there is a disagreement, then you can take that to a judge and say, hey, this was our terms and he or she is not following it. So that would be the reason you'd want to 